Working wildland fire medical is very slow, boring work, and that's not a complaint. Actually, people will be driving by from the incident management team and they'll say, hey, looking bored, that's good, that means people are being safe. But that means we've got to find something to do to occupy our time. Now, you might say, hey, Drew, why don't you try reading some books? To which I would reply, no, we don't read things. <laughs> See? Hey, Pat, do we read things? No. <laughs> See what I told you? So, here are four fun things you can do with Winlink on your amateur HF radio. If you have a GPS adapter, we can use that to update our location in Winlink. So we'll right-click on the Start menu and go to Device Manager. Now I've noticed that if I use my USB GPS adapter for Winlink, I do need to reboot my computer before I go and use this for the timing for JSA call. But here we go. Uh, we're on COM10. I'll go ahead and minimize that. And it's Settings and GPS position reports, and we'll update our port up here. I've already got it set, and down here, if you don't see anything, you click Use GPS Position. This will update our grid square and our lat long. We can just close this here. Now, start an email and select a template. There's a lot of fun templates in here. You can spend a lot of time going through them, but here's what I'm looking for, the GPS position report under General Forms. I'll double-click that. It's going to bring up a browser window. Over here on the right side, I'm going to click Use Connected GPS Lat Long. Now I can put a comment in here and click Submit. It's going to ask us if we want to save. That's not really as important as the next one. We'll click OK on and we can now close this window. OK, and it's going to bring up our Lat Long here and it's got our comment. We can delete QTH and we can send this to whoever we want. I'll send this to my friend Kurt, KD9SUV. He's got a win link. And I'll post to Outbox. Should pop up right here, ready to send. The next fun thing we can do is go through the Winlink catalog. That's up here under Settings. We'll click Winlink Catalog Requests. So here we've got some news. We can request the BBC top headlines. I'll double click that and it's going to populate up here in the upper right corner. We can also get a lot of good weather information. Mine is down here in the US. And then all the way at the bottom of this list for Eastern Washington, North Idaho double click that we're going to post this request this is also going to bring up another email in our outbox and when we connect to a winlink gateway we'll send this request off we'll wait a couple minutes and then reconnect to that winlink gateway and it'll return that requested information make sure you have a really solid connection to a winlink gateway because these could be a little bit large if you have some friends who don't really check their emails that often, but they do check their phone for text messages, most wireless carriers will let you email to a cell phone and it'll deliver it as a SMS or MMS message. So in this case, we're going to send to their 10-digit number. And it will be at for Verizon, for example, vzwpix.com. For AT&T, we go to at MMS dot att dot net you can have a subject or not doesn't really matter and we'll post to the outbox now once they receive it they can just reply as a text message and it'll come to you and you'll be able to receive it the next time you connect to a winlink gateway did you know you can get basic web pages by email well with sale docs you can sale docs is a service designed for people at sea but we can use it too so if we send an email away to query at saledocs.com, doesn't need to be a subject, and in the body we'll type send info and send index. That'll return these two emails that I have here. That this one, the info has information on how to use the service. The index actually has a library of things that you can request. Be careful though if you're using amateur radio and you request this WTF just happened today, it will return a lot of profanity into your WinLink inbox. So we can pick out web pages for ourselves that might actually work a little bit better. I like news sites that have headlines and then just a really brief amount of information on them. So let's just double check over here. We're going to use the same email query at saledocs.com and it wants the full web address, including the HTTP or HTTPS. We'll type send. And one I like is called news as newsisfacts.com. I found a few that actually work pretty well, and I'll post those down in the show notes. Now, we're going to post this to the outbox and be really certain that you have a really solid connection to a WinLink gateway. 
these are going to be big files and if you request it from a winlink gateway that you don't really have a good connection to this is going to take absolutely forever if it even is received at all and it's going to completely snarl up your ability to use the winlink system so those are four fun things we can do with winlink get out there and give it a try have fun see you on the next episode